Since science fiction became popular and technology expanded to fill our lives as well as our imaginations, we've been dreaming about the possibility of being able to travel through time. Perhaps to visit historical events, or maybe to change history, or perhaps just to revisit times we long to return to. But whatever reason that a person might have, The idea of time travel is an intoxicating one. For some people, it is such a powerful thought that they believe that they've actually done it, and some others know that lots of people will look at them if they say they have. Either way, it's a headline grabber. So from a fictional story that made its way into urban legend to a hipster hanging out with some old people in the 1940s, here are 20 scary time travelers caught throughout history. Number 20. Rudolf Fence In 1951, an author by the name of Jack Finney penned a science fiction short story called I'm Scared. The central character in this story was a man named Rudolf Fence, who found himself in 1950s Times Square in New York City, dressed in clothing from the 19th century and carrying items from that time period. He's then apparently hit by a car and killed. This was a story in a book, but somehow people took a shine to it and began retelling it as if it were realish, and it somehow wound up in amongst urban legend. The general urban legend goes that this guy was spotted one evening in 1951 in Times Square, he was then hit by a taxi and died. It was at the morgue that officials found that there were some unusual things about him. He allegedly had a copper token for five cents for a saloon, a bill from a livery stable for the care of a horse, old banknotes to a value of about $70, business cards bearing his name, and a letter that was dated 1876, a medal for third place in a three-legged race. They looked him up in the missing persons files from 1876 as if they actually had those, and then discovered that he had disappeared in that same year. They decided that this was evidence of time travel. Anyways, in the 1980s, people got really into the urban legend. There wasn't much else to do then, to be fair. It's weird how stuff like that can happen, but if you take a story that captures people's imaginations and then spread it around as if the whole thing was true, well, who knows where it can end up. Actually, you just need to look at all the guff that people say on the internet, and then it becomes news to see how far the nonsense can go. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. When people bear an uncanny resemblance to other people, it sends some of us into fits of utter lunacy. There's simply no way that one person at one time and place could possibly look a lot like another person in another time and place. They must be the same person, right? And the only answer for how they're in both places at both times? Well, time travel is real. And these images prove it. Jennifer Lawrence in one place, yet she's also an Egyptian actress called Zabita Tharwat. What in the world is going on? This is a crazy example of when people claim to time travel, so let us know what you think about this latest round of nonsense in the comments down below using the hashtag fancy topic. Number 19. Does this Mike Tyson 1995 fight video show a time traveler using a smartphone? Well, apparently this one has been doing the rounds on the old internet for a long while now. Who knew? I mean, I didn't, but then again, I just work here on the internet. Who doesn't love a bit of conspiracy theory, especially the kind that involves time travel? Now surely that is the absolute best sort of conspiracy. The video is of a boxing match between Mike Tyson and Peter McNeely all the way from 1995, and the reason that people think there's some kind of time traveling shenanigans going on here is in the background. Some people believe that a person in the crowd is actually using a camera phone to film the fight, except that the fight was happening in 19 1995, and you know, we didn't have camera phones back then. I mean, we barely had mobile phones. I know it's hard for all of you to believe that there was once a world where we weren't surgically attached to our devices, but it was the olden days, and we went outside sometimes, and we even still used pay phones and had separate cameras instead of pocket sized computers that did literally everything. It was a wild time. Anyways, what of this time traveling boxing fan? Well, some clever people with magnetic 
magnifying glasses and encyclopedic knowledge of rubbish old pocket cameras from the 90s have had a jolly good look at this video, and they reckon that the so-called smartphone is actually just a regular old camera. They've put together a few likely suspects, and it turns out that it's probably just a regular Casio pocket camera, so that's all rather disappointing now, isn't it? Number 18. The Girl Who Vividly Remembers Dying in a Fire in a Past Life This story is off the Oprah website, so frankly, I would be extremely disappointed if they hadn't properly fact-checked it. Therefore, it must be completely true. A young woman by the name of Sarah told her story to Oprah on The Oprah Winfrey Show, recalling her experiences as a child when she had an irrational fear of fire, believing that she needed to keep her dolls in a bag beneath her bed, ready to make a quick escape when a fire happened in the house. Her mother couldn't understand what had made Sarah so fearful of fire. She tried to get to the bottom of this severe phobia, so she did exactly what any sensible person would naturally do. She took her kid to a past life regret aggression therapist, as one does. And it was through this completely legit, totally not nonsense therapy that Sarah unraveled the complicated histories of her fear. Yes, she had actually died in a fire in a past life because of course she had. She says that she had a vivid recollection of her own death while trying to escape a fire in a farmhouse a century earlier. She even described her death saying that it was quick, but a few seconds of panic and fear before it was over. Well, that's just wonderful, isn't it? Exactly what a child needs, having loads of hideous images and terrifying thoughts placed into their head to explain a fear of fire. There was, of course, no possibility that Sarah had seen a scary news report or heard a story story about a house fire that had given her an anxiety about it in the first place. The only possible reason she might have had this fear was a past life, of course. Number 17. Andrew Carlson Next up, we have a guy who got in trouble with the law and blamed it on time travel. So have I. I mean, honestly, who hasn't? This is the story of Andrew Carlson, a man who managed to invest $800 on the stock market and turn it into $350 million in a few months. Now, that kind of turnaround gets the FBI interested in no time at all, so you better be able to explain exactly how you did it. And Carlson did explain. He said that he was a time traveler, so he had known exactly where to invest. This was in no way whatsoever to do with anything illegal like insider trading. Oh no, absolutely not. No siree. And weirdly enough, to begin with, people actually kind of believed him. There were apparently no records of the man prior to 2002, just a year before he was busted. But in most circumstances, that in and of itself would suggest that this person was probably not 100% kosher. But what do I know? Newspapers all over the world would latch on to the story, and some of them reported it so very earnestly indeed. This Carlson guy really had everyone going, you know, except did he really? There are as many reports that say that no charges have ever been brought against any such person. So the plot does thicken. Number 16. Chase Bowman, the boy who says he was a Civil War soldier in a past life. Another case that was first shown to the world via Oprah Winfrey back in 1994, these sorts of past life things seemed to have been all the rage for a while back then, didn't they? This 11-year-old boy who was named Chase Bowman went on to Oprah to have a chat about his past life as a child soldier during the Civil War. Well, that sounds like a barrel of laughs, doesn't it? I preferred it when Oprah was giving people cars, to be honest. Anyways, this red-headed kid recounted tales from his past life, which included some rather detailed accounts of how he hid behind a rock, but then got shot on the wrist on the battlefield and ended up in a field hospital. He also went on to describe the whole scene and his own gun uniform, and most chillingly, his own death. Apparently, Chase has been going on about his days on the battlefield since he was just eight years old when he would draw pictures of everything that he remembered from his past life. Now, young boys are absolutely not at all into the idea of playing soldiers or with army men. They literally have never had any interest in anything like that ever, nor have any kids ever had any kind of vivid imagination. So all of this past life malarkey is absolutely the only reason that Chase could speak in such a way about this stuff. And anyways, what does this have to do with time travel? Number 15. Alexander Smith 
Well, here we go again, another man claiming to be a time traveler, but this one doesn't seem to be doing it in order to do any crimes, rather he may just be a rather disturbed individual with a vivid imagination. Who can possibly say? Alexander Smith is a person off the internet who went on said internet to show everyone a photograph that he says he brought back from the year 2118, because I suppose even though hardly anyone ever prints out pictures anymore in the 21st century, people in the future are old school and go down to the pharmacy and get the one hour service, you know, just like in the olden days. Anyways, this Smith Joker claims to be from a long line of time travelers, and he's given an interview in which he discusses the notion, but fails to give any information about how he actually achieves it. He showed this super shady photo of the future world, where he says that it's blurry because time travel can distort pictures. Well, naturally. He says that in the future there are many threats to humans, as if we didn't already know, and that we need to combat global warming now. Well, yes, we probably do, but this internet oddball telling us that is probably not going to be the thing that suddenly makes it happen. Number 14. Noah claims he is a professional time traveler who is stranded in 2019, 11 years away from the year he belongs in 2030. It's a tough life being a professional time traveler. You know, people think that you're crazy, you never have the right change, the jet lag is a bitch. But what about the very real and no doubt super annoying problem of getting stuck in the wrong year? Well, that's exactly what a man named Noah claims happened to him. He says that he's a time traveler from the future, well, the near future anyways, claiming to only have come back from the year 2030. So nothing too tricky to explain, but there's a lot of guff out there about him passing the lie detector test, which is really not as difficult as people make it out to be. Anyways, he's claiming that artificial intelligence is going to take over and that Donald Trump will be re-elected. None of this is mind-blowingly revolutionary though, is it? Nonetheless, he is so fearful of what will happen to him that he's had to disguise his identity and his voice. Apparently, he risked his life to travel back a few years in time and warn us all about it. Well, okay then. Number 13. Sergei Ponomarenko in an elaborate and extremely convoluted hoax, a television station in Ukraine tried to deceive the entire world for the ratings, you know. It's a weird mess of stuff that seems to revolve around a film of a guy dressed in an army uniform standing in a road showing the camera his identity card. An identity card that appears to say that this fellow was born in 1932, which would have made him in his 70s when the show went out, even though he's evidently only in his 20s. Now, to be honest, I lost track of what it was they were actually saying or even trying to do at all. If you can figure out what the heck is going on and really why, let me know in the comments below. Sometimes the internet is just too exhausting and frankly I kind of don't even care if this guy time traveled from the stone age to graffiti cave paintings onto the Kremlin. It's just too complicated and rather boring. Next, number 12, Andrew Basiago. Right then, here we are with a guy named Andrew Basiago, who claims that the United States of America developed time travel during the Cold War, but alleges that it was just too dangerous to use. Okay then, Mr. Basiago, what have you got? Well, he claims that when he was a child, he had been part of a top secret government program for time travel and was sent back in time all the way to see Abraham Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. Well, why not? At least it would have given the kid a bit of an education while he was trundling back and forth between time periods. Anyways, Basiago is now on a mission to expose the top secret government efforts to manipulate time. The so-called Project Pegasus was apparently commissioned by DARPA and it was a Pentagon-backed project. He says they used all the greatest scientists of all time to spend billions of tax dollars messing about with Einstein's theory of special relativity. So there you go. Basiago says he went back to a historical event that everyone has heard of, and that it's therefore proof of his time travel. The end. Number 11. Bella the Time Traveler took this selfie in the year 3800. 
There's always someone who has to take things a bit too far and spoil it for everyone else, isn't there? This time, it's a woman going by the name Bella who has popped up on the totally legitimate and completely fact-checked paranormal YouTube channel Apex TV. So Bella has a picture that she says is a selfie that she took in the year 3800. Because of course it is. The woman says that she's from Albania but had met a Belarusian physicist who has figured out time travel, so she let him send her to the year 3800, all so that she could take a picture. Presumably, he then managed to bring her back again so she could show everyone the picture on the internet. Her story of the future is not a very pretty one, claiming that there were buildings and ruins, corpses, and damaged robots and gadgets. Right then, she says her ridiculously grainy and poor quality picture shows a flying destroyed robot shooting lasers. The future, she says, is one where evil robots have taken over, so that's something to look forward to then now, isn't it? Number 10. Time Traveler Shows a Photo from the Year 6000 our next time traveler took it even further. This time, apparently, we're with a man who's keeping his identity secret, but says he popped along the year 6000 to see how things were looking, and according to him, well, we're all in trouble. He had a picture, because they all do, you know, in which he says that you can see a major city, but he won't tell us which one it is, for reasons of not wanting to influence change on the future itself. I see that this fellow has watched Back to the Future a few good times like a good researcher before embarking on his journey. Anyhow, Anonymous Man says that although we haven't blown ourselves up by the year 6000, which frankly seems a little difficult to believe, we are in fact going to be ruled by artificial intelligence. Pesky robots again, those things are always doing future evil to us now, aren't they? Number 9. Charlie Chaplin's Time Traveler a bit like everyone peering at that old Mike Tyson fight footage, a few not-so-eagle-eyed viewers have been giving really old movies the same scrutiny, but perhaps not especially accurate. Never mind, it is all a bit of fun, I suppose. This time around, some people have been poking about in the background of a Charlie Chaplin film from 1928 called The Circus. Some people claim to have spotted evidence of a time traveler in the crowd. A woman is seen walking down a street wearing a long black coat. She then appears to hold something up to her ear. This is the thing that people have decided is a cell phone, but cell phones didn't reach the market until the early 1980s. So how could this be? Well, for some, it's time travel. But then a few sensible people weighed in and suggested that the thin black device that she seems to speak into is probably a hearing aid. These were invented in the 1920s, and by that time the movie was being made, they were available to the general public. What do you think it is? Let's have a discussion in the comments down below, shall we? Number 8. John Titor John Titor is the pseudonym used by a man who alleges to be a time traveler from the year 2036. He posted about all this business back in 2000 and 2001 on an internet forum where he claimed to have been an American military time traveler. He made a whole bunch of super vague claims about what the future held for humanity and also a few really specific and terrible ones for the year 2004 and beyond, which included a nuclear war. He's been extremely inconsistent in his predictions and has basically been totally inaccurate all of the way through, so we can probably assume that the guy is no time traveler at all, or if he is, then his return to the past has messed with the space-time continuum and ripped a hole in the fabric and all of that sort of weird nonsense BS, and it changed the future. Either way, it's that or it's just all malarkey. Who would possibly like to say? Number 7. William Taylor traveled to the year 8973. Now we have a man who claims that he's part of a secret operation that's run by the British government which transported him to the year 8973. But since the British government doesn't seem to be able to tell the difference between their arse and their elbow, I'm going to say that's a bit of a stretch to imagine that there's any truth to this whatsoever. But what I do know? Well, William Taylor alleges that he took a trip on the government's time to the future, very specifically the year 8973, which is an odd year to choose 
but perhaps they're still ironing out some programming kinks. He then claims that he spent six hours there and during that time witnessed immortal human cyborgs who have taken over the planet. There are all kinds of technological wonders, especially these telepathic robo-humans that never ever die. Sounds like fun. Why can't we all have a trip? We pay our taxes. Anyways, this guy has apparently passed a lie detector test, so that means one single thing is that he must be telling the total truth. No way it's any kind of nonsense or a codswallop at all. Number 6. Greta Thunberg Well, what do you know? Greta Thunberg, that young woman with a passion for the environment, she's actually a time traveler, as if she didn't have enough going on already. How does she even manage it? Here, she's in the present day traveling all around, writing books, making impassioned speeches about climate change, and still going to school and all that other stuff that kids do. And she's also traveled in time from 1898 and working as a child laborer in Canada's Yukon region in a gold mine. No wonder she seems so cross about things all the time. Yes, there's no doubt that the child in this image does bear a striking resemblance to the young activist, but people have always had doppelgangers, and nobody's unique enough to have not had someone who may have resembled them in the past, even if there is no photographic evidence to prove it. Moving swiftly on, number five, Haken Norqvist. It's ridiculous, both my pronunciation of that name and this story. This is a marketing video from 2006 that was made by a Swedish pension fund called AMF. They made a mockumentary in which they made out that this guy had traveled into the future and met his 70-year-old self. But the internet? Well, it's full of idiots and this has been doing the rounds again on TikTok. What a surprise. I mean, come on now, everybody. You can do better than this. You really can. Just try. Try just a tiny little bit. The first thing, well, that's to stop recycling rubbish old videos from a million years ago. And the second thing to do, go outside. Be alive. Interact with actual things. The internet is full of nonsense, and it's evidently rotting your brains if you're so ready to believe any old marketing campaign from Sweden. Number 4. Time Traveler Brought This Technology Back From 3780 Okay, as well as a lot of old nonsense, there are also rather a lot of disturbed people on the internet, and they probably need help rather than a lot of attention for doing something bizarre. This is likely one such thing. A woman speaks in a rambling and disjointed way about some technology that she's brought back from the future. She says that she's traveled from the year 3780 with a bit of technology that looks a lot like a computer chip, but she calls it a skin. Unfortunately, she makes very little sense, so I really have no idea what it's alleged to do. Beyond that, this is basically just one in a whole massive stinking heap of video turds that are all over the internet where people make up conspiracy theories, jump on bandwagons, or outright have full-on delusions on camera and then post them in a place where anyone can see them. We're in the days before internet, people had fewer places to do this sort of nonsense. There's no promise of enormous exposure for anyone's idea or theory or made-up malarkey and that's just how it is. Number 3. The Two-Year-Old Who Remembers Dying Underwater in a Past Life Again, Oprah? I mean, come on now. Sending tiny children through the process of regression therapy to implant ideas about past lives in their little brains? That can't really be healthy, surely. But here we go again, this time with a toddler who says she remembers dying underwater in a past life. The story goes that this kid described something that sounded like a memory from a past life one day when they were driving over a bridge. The little girl said it looked exactly like the place where she had died. Creepy to be sure, but it's not proof of a past life now, is it? Then she allegedly said that a bunch of stuff, including details of an account that she had died, right down to the way that the bubbles had floated up when she drowned. So that's a whole barrel of laughs. Really glad that I shared this one with you, aren't you? Honestly though, people would do anything to get on Oprah. Number 2. Time Traveling Hipster well, here it is. We finally have the definitive proof of time travel, and it comes in the unexpected guise of a hipster at the reopening of a bridge. 
Yes, this photograph, about which it has been vehemently emphasized, is completely unaltered, seems to show a hipster who sticks out like a sore thumb in this scene of the reopening of the South Bend Bridge in approximately the year 1941. I mean, seriously, if I were to discover the secret to time travel, this is exactly where I would want to go. No doubt about it. Just look at what a great time everyone is having. My only question is, if this guy is so unusual, why is nobody looking at him or reacting to him. But of course, the picture's not been doctored at all, and there's no way on God's green earth that a young man would wear sunglasses, a cardigan, and no hat to such a significant event. No way ever. Number 1. Michael McIntosh and just to round things out nicely, we have another crank off the internet with claims of time travel and government conspiracies. You know I love to spoil you, don't you? This time, we have a man named Michael McIntosh who spoke with, surprise, surprise, that conspiracy YouTube channel again. In this interview, he reported all kinds of shocking details about how there were loads of cool technology and that he had hung out with President Obama to do the time traveling project. Oh, and the best detail of them all that he, Michael McIntosh, is going to be president in the future. Well, there you go. There's no arguing with that kind of solid fact. Time travel's absolutely real, and this guy has done it. He will be the president for sure. End of story. Wow. I knew it was bananas out there, but who knew just what levels that it's reached? Do you believe in time travel? Have you ever been on a little jolly journey throughout space and time yourself? Go on and share all the gritty details in the comments section down below. Also, be sure to check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.